Oh, you been that boy? I ain't seen you in a minute. Yo, what's up, Wiz? It's your boy NM. What's up, Big Wiz. Play, let me get a snack. snack. Come on, I ain't gonna snatch your fries. Come on, let me get a snack. <laughs> That's that Philly stone face. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm gonna stop through, man. I'm gonna tell her we're gonna get together. Go hit the bar. Get your pass from your lady. <laughs> WAB, we ain't bullshit. White and black. That was the crew. OTM out taking money. So that'll give you a little bit of an idea of what we were about. If you're truly a graffiti writer, you cannot deny the fact that you are committing crimes. And you can sugarcoat it all you want to, but if you're breaking into things and you're stealing your supplies, uh, you're a thief. If, if you're somebody that, that steals paint to support the graffiti that you want to do, eventually that goes into another level. You want to go to a party, you want to look good, so you go steal some clothes to go to the party, you know what I mean? We used to stick people up, we used to rob people, a lot of fighting. Uh, I must have got locked up six or seven times in one summer. And, you know, I don't know how I beat every case. I know, I know my mom was upset because she felt like I wasn't learning a lesson here, you know what I mean? You get locked up and you go in there and you beat the case and then you walk out with that smug look on your face and she's like, wow, this is never gonna end. But my mother, you know, as, as supportive as she was trying to be, she was still just my mother, you know what I mean? I have a father figure, so I found all that. Like, a lot of you finds it in the street, you know? I, I just didn't happen to find a gang. I found it within myself, but it was still in the street, you know? Uh, one of my best friends died in this hospital. Shot to death down North Philadelphia. A boy named Reed Ryan. He used to write knees. Good friend of mine. Drove himself to this hospital when he got shot. Died right on the table. That's the Sam tag right there. That's old, man. My man been dead for 10 years. Sam mom lived right there. It's old family. And this the piece that I did for him up here. And I did this a while back. I had Espo do that with me. Sam Martinez, lost but not forgotten. There go my boy right there. That's my man right on deck. Pee Wee, Dio, and Decca. <laughs> Decca star to keep it real. Yeah, that's what we used. That's that Philly hand style with the fade right there. But I was telling you about the up fade. You see the dots popping? See that? Boom, boom, boom. Philadelphia, we were very blessed to see our old heads come back in the past 10 years. Chad Ism, TRK, the real king. That's what he go by. That cat has always been bombing forever, man. I'm talking about all of them. And they took the city epidemic style. That Philly graph is so strong that once they saw one of their buddies go out, they had to go out. And somebody saw them two cats go out, and they had to go out. So you saw everybody. I mean, one of them was my postman. <laughs> <laughs> he used to come deliver my mail. I had no idea it was the bull. You know, and he was infamous as thing Satan. Infamous the bull. This a war. He got X'd out by a dude who wrote B.E. That's a bull right bait. He's, he, he older than me and been writing longer than me. He'll never stop. Him, Cadism, it's like 10 of them that are like, we'll never quit bombing. You gotta respect him for that. Dude's got two hip replacements. He had one hip replacement. He was out a week later walking around. This guy's just glutton. He's an animal. Well, I'm afraid of heights, but if I'm not willing to go where the kids are going, then they know I'm full of shit. Once I get rid of them on the street, they graduated to the billboard, so I had to figure a way to get up on top of billboards. And then once they figured out I could go up where they were, they could go as high as they wanted to go, they stopped going up there because then there was no point. And then they realized they couldn't beat me. Plus, I was older than they were, I was slower than they were, there was more of them, and they, you know, so what's the point? If you know you're just gonna waste your spray paint coming in some guy's area, just find a different area. I mean, I, I can't stop them from doing graffiti all over the city, but I will stop them if they come in here. Nod is not. With a name like that, he ought to be not. One time the guys kept doing a billboard down here, it was like twice as high as that one. So when I done painting, I put a memo up there to him. Next fucker up gets thrown off. <laughs> Amazingly enough, they didn't do that billboard anymore. You gotta be a little crazy, I think. Otherwise people don't take you serious. Oh, my bitches. 
when I control a tag crew, I put that on top of it so then they kind of know that they have to stay out. It's like a joke. <laughs> Man, if they let me run this city, I'm telling you, this place would be running. And all I want is a percentage of what I save. Motherfucker, I'm retiring. Where the Oakland tracks. This is a pretty famous yard. It's been getting painted for a few decades. I've had many pieces on this wall right here. Oh, I like that beats. That's pretty fresh. It has a lot of motion to it, you know? My styles flare out towards the bottom a little bit too because of the J and the E. And it reminds me of that a little bit. And that's why I like it. We're benching. That's an old term from New York City, from sitting in the subway stations, sitting on the bench, waiting for subway cars to go by and look at the pieces. I know that people absolutely love trains and they're really romantic about it, but I mean, I love them too. I just happen to love writing on them and I love seeing them with graffiti on them. The motion of it is um, a powerful thing. That tag I did in probably Baltimore, DC, like, Eight years ago. Man, it's come a long way. I grew up in Baltimore, like right on the edge of the city. Suburbs. Right after my parents got married, my dad got drafted to go to Vietnam. He was a helicopter pilot, and their helicopter was shot up, and there wasn't one bolt found, a couple parts to machine guns, and they found my dad's uh, gold wedding ring. I think it's made me bitter at times. It's made me a little bit uncaring of other people's losses in a way. It's, it's, I hate to say that, but it's just automatic, you know? I think about it a lot when I'm painting, you know, especially when I'm bombing. I'm proud of my dad, though. There's no doubt about that. I remember uh, drawing the lettering from the Suicidal Tendencies first album on my bedroom wall. And, you know, to a parent, when <laughs> they see Suicidal Tendencies written on their kid's wall, I don't think that went over too big. I think I wrote Graffiti Strikes. <laughs> and then I changed it to Master. But I stopped writing that because people were writing Bader after my tag, and that wasn't really what I was going for. I think it's just more natural to write your name than to, to make up something, you know? At that point, I was getting into so much trouble other than graffiti, like, you know, breaking in businesses and stealing safes and doing smash and grabs and, like, just stealing cars like it was graffiti, like, oh, I can get the baddest car tonight, you know? Graffiti saved me from that shit. I started, like, learning that, man, my friends that I do this other shit with, they're scumbags. I don't want nothing to do with them. I want to hang out with these writers. You know, they're, like, far more interesting, honorable people. Jason was the first person to ever take me racking. It was like a good trade-off, I guess. Like, I was the first person to take him to do freights. If you're a train cop in a certain city, you know, everyone painting freights, they're obviously not doing it while the train's in motion.